Hello Virgos and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of January 2019. Love and Romance, Career and Finance, Reading. Welcome if you are new, welcome back to those of you whom have followed me from the beginning, who come to me for month to month readings and who uh, have liked, shared and subscribed. I greatly appreciate your trust in my gift. All right, so we're going to start out with love and romance, then we'll work into career and finance. I'm starting out with the love and romance Celtic spread by using uh, the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Virgo. Okay, so right away we have a Virgo that is trying to free themselves from a situation or circumstance. They are being guided to take control, to take back control of their life. This Virgo is thinking of another as a romance of a lifetime. And they're being told by spirit in the foundation that Cupid's arrow is aiming right at you, Virgo, you are lovable, and you deserve love. So take back control of your life and communicate, is what I'm hearing, with someone who feels like a true love. Now, in the past, when it comes to a particular connection for Virgo, uh, there were romantic feelings, whether they wanted to realize this or not. Maybe this Virgo was even trying to free themselves from the romantic feelings, but they are coming to the realization that someone feels as though they are a true love. Now, this particular Virgo needs to know that you do deserve love. Love can be a wonderful thing, no matter what transpired in the past. Now, by the third week of January 2019, Spirit is asking for this Virgo to trust and have faith when it comes to this connection. You have control, Virgo, over the coming together with a past life connection or someone whom by which you knew in the past. Spirit is trying to communicate with Virgo regarding addictions, codependency, asking Virgo not to become addicted to a person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, or substance, to not become addicted to a particular way of thinking. They're being advised to trust and have faith that there is indeed a romance of a lifetime and that they deserve love. This Virgo, in their hopes and fears position, are hoping and or are fearing a strong magnetic attraction. And in the outcome position, spiritual advice is saying, by the end of January 2019, it will come, the time will come where you need to disconnect from the world. You need to take time either on your own or take time to get together with another, with the, your trust and faith, and to know that you deserve real love. So in a three-card summary here with the same Romance Angel deck, Mid-January, this Virgo is going to have the energies of forgiveness. There needs to be some sort of healing and forgiveness when it comes not only to maybe your parents, but when it comes to anyone whom by which you have carried negative energies with or about. They're saying, love yourself first. You are lovable. And yet, 
this Virgo is fearing deception. They are fearing unrequited love. Some Virgos are being guided to step forward and to work on a partnership to free their mind from whatever kept them trapped. Some Virgos are thinking about marriage or commitment. There's a lot of passion here. But some Virgos are being guided, again, to free themselves from whatever kept them stuck in the past. It is time to clear your energy, Virgo, from what bound you in your thoughts, in your actions, with old connections. Now, by the third or fourth week of January 2019, this Virgo's love life is being affected by children. There may be children involved in the situation with another or this Virgo is trying to make a, situ a decision but they're worried that the, the decision will affect children. Spiritual advice is saying, Virgo, let things unfold as they should and just remain optimistic. Remember, the situation is calling for you to have faith. There is a Virgo here who is thinking about taking a risk. To come together and to meet with another, to travel or to move into a new direction. And spiritual advice is saying it is safe for you, Virgo, to open up your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all which is love. For some Virgos, your true love is at a distance. Keep an open mind as you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with another. By the third or fourth week of January 2019, I think unexpectedly, as one gets together with another, as this Virgo faces their fears, their worries, their anxiety, they are going to come to the realization that there is something much deeper than just a magnetic attraction. And that's why Spirit's telling this Virgo to have faith. For some Virgos, and this will of course involve a personal reading, you are indeed Reconciling with a soulmate. So take some time to get together, to meet, face your fears, get to know each other, get to know a friend, get to know someone through your friends. Because very soon you can manifest the opportunity to express your love. And then to decide on your long-term future. So for personal readings, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. And my price list is below. I am, yes, still offering a 15-minute video read for just $25. Okay, so let's get a little deeper about career and finance. Now for this particular career and finance reading, I am bringing in the Enchanted Map Deck by Colette Baron reed and I'm going to again be doing a Celtic spread. So dear Lord Spirit, guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Virgo with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of January 2019 and career and finance. Okay. So this particular Virgo may be receiving communication from a new business, organization, client, business partner, and uh, they are not trusting 
another. They are fearing the energies of lies and deceit. Maybe this Virgo is feeling sad because someone hasn't been completely honest when it comes to a business or organization. This Virgo is also recognizing that their thoughts have been on the negative side. So with these energies in your thoughts position, Virgo, Spirit is asking that you no longer embrace sad thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Because in your foundation position, Spirit is saying with the peaks of joy energies, we are trying to bring joy back into your life. But if we carry energies of negativity, negative thinking, negative sadness, worries, fears, it will in turn affect the positivity that Spirit's trying to bring. So it's time to shift your perspective. In the recent past, this Virgo was contemplating coming together with another, another business, another partner, client, financial situation, or person. And by the third week of January 2019, this Virgo is being guided to collect the supplies they need to put together a plan and to enjoy the process of creating something new for themselves. This Virgo, again, has control over deciding, am I going to use the energies of the strength card to think more positively and to go towards the energies and the people, and the circumstances, and the situations, and the environments that bring me joy. Wow. Spiritual advice is trying to tell this Virgo that because you have been down along a difficult path, you can now rejoice. Because you have reached the pinnacle of a spiritual transformation. By Switching your perspective to a more positive direction and by recognizing the peaks of joy that you are manifesting in a new direction for yourself. So in your hopes and fears position, this particular Virgo is hoping that their goals and intentions will grow and prosper. And with the field of dreams energy showing up, it could be that by the end of January 2019, this particular Virgo is watching their dreams be born. Watching their intentions succeed. And as they are moving into a new direction, as they are facing their fears, as they are physically maybe traveling or moving, the process of a new journey, a new path, a new position, a new direction financially is going to help for this Virgo to heal from whatever was keeping them sad up to mid-January 2019. So in a three card summary here to my left with the same enchanted map deck, they're saying by the third week of January 2019, it is time to recognize what has caused sadness and discontent and to now know that you can avoid these storm fields because of the knowledge you have acquired, right? Because of this spiritual transformation. So spirit saying, face your fears. Take off the blindfold and step into the unknown. And as you move into a new direction, you're going to start to celebrate peaks of joy. You're going to start to understand that you are already dressed for the party of a new direction. It may feel like a difficult decision with the number seven, but it's also the number seven is a very spiritual time to move, to have the strength 
to move into the direction by which you were meant to walk into a path of fulfillment. So sit in solitude and think about what would make you happy. What fulfills you. And by the fourth week of January 2019, this Virgo may be feeling like time is standing still. The ghost lands energies are when spirit puts this Virgo into a frozen throne and slows down time in order for them to make a plan. In order for them to focus on what it is they are preparing. To get the supplies, to do the research, to put together a plan. Spirit is telling this Virgo, you are safe in the space by which you currently reside. And the time will come when your dreams start to be born. That could be by the end of January 2019 for some. And spiritual advice is saying, ride the wave. Because there's going to come a realization that you are heading in the right direction. You are on the right path. Though things may feel as though they are moving slowly, it is a time to learn not only about which the direction you are headed towards, the things you are manifesting, but to also learn about how much you have grown spiritually, how you have changed from negativity to positivity because you chose to shift your perspective, because you chose to have and use the energies of the strength card. To follow what makes you happy. By the end of January 2019, going into February, you have the balancing act energies. The ability to maintain balance as changes are taking place. You have the follow the leader energies to take control over your path. And as you do, others are going to recognize a change in you. There is healing going on here if this Virgo chooses to push beyond their anxieties and to travel or move towards a meeting, negotiations, communication that will indeed put them in a very financially content and loving energy that will last for the long term. So know that the magical map shifter is here in the second half of January 2019, Virgo, to help shift you in the correct direction. For those of you whom may have recognized that you are not enjoying the direction you are currently experiencing. The magical map shifter is guiding you into the correct direction so that you can heal from the pain of the old sadness you may have been embracing. Remember, you have the strength to recognize peaks of joy and then to communicate with those who will bring you into a path of peacefulness, contentment, complete and utter happiness. So I'm going to close by pulling one card from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Overall message and word of prayer, please, for Virgos for the second half of January 2019. Look at that, Virgos. You're on the right path. Hold the hands of your children and show them the joy you are feeling. Show them the clarity you are finding. Show them how to heal from sadness and how you can find a path towards joy and fulfillment. Walk with your children and show them how you lifted yourself up and how you found a way to heal from what was. So the prayer for the second half of, <coughs> pardon me, January 2019, for Virgo is Archangel Michael, 
I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and for filling me with the courage and the confidence to make healthy changes in my life. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.